So, when is your sister coming over? She should be here any minute. She may be a little late. I think she's dropping off the kids. My niece Olivia loves ballet and my nephew Logan plays soccer and baseball. They sound like happy kids. Yeah, they are. My sister and I never got to do much of anything while we were in the Jehovah's Witness cult. She wants her children to have what we couldn't have. Kids should be able to enjoy themselves. All of us are only kids once. Once your childhood ends, there's no turning back. Yeah, I know. However, she and I did have some fun in our last years of school together. After we escaped from the cult we lived with our non-JW grandparents. They pointed us in the direction of a few after-school activities and she and I had fun. We made some real friends that were better than those other witness kids. We both graduated, but it was sad that our own parents didn't even come to see us get our diplomas. That's terrible. I'm beginning to see why you always call it a cult. Yeah, I think it's pretty evil. The way they hide and protect child molesters and do little if nothing to help their child victims. If any of the victims go to the police, they get kicked out and shunned. At least that's how it worked when I was in. I don't want to rehash the whole thing, but like I told you before, we had a huge problem with a child molester. That religion sounds like pure evil. My sister came out of it very well. She's married to a very loving man and has two beautiful children. My niece and nephew are swell kids. Yeah, that's great. I'll get that. That's probably Sophia. Hi Sophia. Glad you came over. How's the family? We're all doing great. Bill and Olivia are watching Logan play soccer with his little league team. You must be Michelle. Caleb has told me a lot about you. I'm Sophia. I'm glad to finally meet you. Caleb has also told me a lot about you. Same here with you, Michelle. Caleb talks about you with me all the time. So, your brother here tells me that you both were once in the Jehovah's Witnesses. Yup. We were both born in and raised within that religion. My brother and I both learned that it's a terrible cult. I hear from your brother that they hide and protect child predators and do little if nothing to help their victims. Yes, it's been going on within there for quite some time. I was a victim of one of them myself. I'm sure Caleb told you all about it. He did. And I'm sorry. Our father, who was once a very loving man, became an elder and then became an alcoholic, in that order. When I went to the authorities, he tried to hurt me physically. I'm sure Caleb told you that too. He did, and that's awful. How did you manage to escape from that? I ran outside into the arms of our next door neighbor, who called the police. Our father wasn't arrested, though I wish that he was but was told to get help for his problems with alcohol and anger, which he has never done to this day as he feels that he doesn't need it. The worst part of this as far as our mother goes, she's been in and out of the local hospital's psych ward and is on a lot of antidepressants. It's a wonder that they haven't committed her to the state mental hospital with all the issues that she has and all this stuff that messed her up. I'm sorry about that. Thanks. Our mom is not allowed to divorce our dad due to the cult's rules and regulations regarding marriage. In the cult, you're only allowed to divorce your spouse if they commit adultery against you. To them, all other forms of divorce are not scriptural. This means that you still have to stay with your spouse no matter how terrible and abusive they really are. How terrible. Being forced to stay married to someone who abuses you repeatedly. I'm glad that I never open my door to those weirdos when they come knocking on my door. And now our parents are shunning us. They've never met my husband Bill or their wonderful grandkids, Olivia and Logan. To those still within the cult, shunning is an act of love and it's the only way to get those who've left to come back. Even if you go to a meeting, unless you get reinstated, nobody is allowed to speak to you. It just hurts so much that it's not funny. That doesn't sound loving at all. It's actually hateful. This is why we don't go to the Kingdom Hall anymore. What's the point of going when nobody will talk to you and they treat you like a subhuman? I keep hoping that one day, our mom will wake up and leave the cult, though I still doubt that it will happen. I still think about our parents daily and some days are worse than others. But I keep busy as a stay-at-home mom while studying at home to be a nurse. When the kids are old enough I can work and contribute to the family budget. And I'm in between studies right now. 
I'm not completely sure what I'd like to do with the rest of my life. I'm studying education, but also theater. I really don't know what I'll do career-wise. There is still time. We're still young, Caleb. You'll reach the point where you'll know what you'll do for the rest of your life. Yes, I know. However, my sister here advised me not to put it off for too long. Sound advice. I really love my little brother. He's a smart guy and also, he's very sweet. I do agree with you on that, Sophia. How was it like growing up with Caleb? He was all right. He could be an irritating little pissant at times though. Guilty. Guaranteed. See what I mean? <laughs> we thought we were happy within the religion, but we learned the hard way that this happiness we thought we had was simply a mirage. We learned that we weren't really as happy as we thought we were. After my being molested in our father's alcoholism and temper and his abuse of our mother was what woke us up. The only shame in this is that the elder who molested me, as I said, he molested his own daughter, but she's still in the cult as she refuses to leave. I also learned that a few other young girls were victims of his as well. How was he allowed to get away with this for so long? They have a policy that if there has to be two witnesses to the abuse, and if the abuser denies all charges, they take no further action. However, I went to the police. He was later convicted and is doing hard time in prison. This reminds me of a strange little story. I remember once that our parents dragged us to their cult compound in Warwick, New York. The oddest thing happened. Some Bethelai picked us out of the crowd and asked our parents if they could use us in a photo shoot. So of course they said yes. We wound up having to sit on Toni Morris' lap while they snapped pictures. They later used those pictures in their magazines to promote some culty, child brainwashing cartoon series. Toni Morris. Now he was an odd guy. I remember smelling booze on him when they made me climb up on him. Dumb as a rock. You should look him up on the internet. He and Stephen Lett could star in Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> well, it looks like that the both of you are doing great. I do feel blessed. Thanks for the kind words. I gotta run. Bill and the kids are on their way home. Thanks Caleb for having me over to meet your girlfriend. And Michelle, it was a pleasure meeting you and talking with you. I hope that we can get together again and get to know each other even better. Same here. Take care, and say hello to Bill and the kids for me. I will. Thanks again. <laughs>